Jackson says she couldn't believe this happened to her by the man sitting right beside her on the plane. But what she claims was even worse was how Spirit Airlines handled it. Tia Jackson of Westland was on a morning flight back to Detroit when she claimed she woke up to a man sexually assaulting her. The side because the way I went to sleep, I was turned to him like this way. Like I had my back towards him, kind of. So, you know, he just went right in there. Like, what? The 22 year old was stunned when she felt a man's hand reaching down her pants. She says he tried to conceal it all under his winter coat. He had took his coat off, and I thought he had his coat on him to cover him like he was cold, but he really had it over him to hide the fact that he was trying to touch me while he was also touching himself. Tia jumped up. I said, hey, I said, don't touch me. I said, get off me, don't touch me, stop touching me. And it was like, because I made a scene and because I kind of embarrassed him and scared him, he's like tapping me like, shh, shh. And she immediately alerted the Spirit Airlines staff, who Tia claims tried to blame her, asking her to move. I told them, I said, you need to get him away from me. Like, he needs to be moved. And that's when it was like, well, if it was such a problem or if it was bothering you so much, why didn't you move? In a statement, Spirit Airlines tells us the flight attendants learned of the incident 18 minutes prior to landing when the guest pressed the call button. It goes on to say the flight attendants directed the woman to another seat so the man wouldn't be sitting next to anyone else for the duration of the flight. Nearby passengers saw the commotion happening as the plane landed. One woman snapped a picture of the guy as he was leaving the Spirit plane. Tia says she was appalled when they were walking out and no police had been called to take the man into custody. I was going to just let it go, but I'm like, you know what? No, like that was just a whole sexual assault. And this is why people like him get away with doing what they're doing. Nothing was done until she says she reported it to airport police. Spirit tells us that law enforcement began its investigation immediately after the flight arrived. We're told the feds are now investigating. Tia wants Spirit Airlines and this man to be held accountable. Well, I feel like he needs to be held accountable for sure, because obviously if he was bold enough to try this today, I don't know how many times he's been friendly on other flights. Now, Tia filed her report and then went to Wayne County safe to be examined for sexual assault. The Department of Justice is investigating and Tia says she does plan to take legal action against Spirit Airlines.